What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to solve basic one-step equations using all four processes. So that's addition, multiplication, subtraction and division. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to tackle these one by one. But the key rule for all of them is that we're going to try to isolate the variable using the inverse. So let's see what that looks like with our first example. So at the minute our variable, the t here, is connected to this plus 4. But we want to get this variable on its own, so essentially we want to get rid of this plus 4. So how can we get rid of a plus 4? Well, we must put a negative 4 on that side of the equation as well, because a plus 4 and a negative 4 will cancel themselves out to be 0. But if we're going to put a negative 4 on that side of the equation, we need to make sure our equation stays balanced by putting a negative 4 on this side of the equation too. So our new line would read t plus 4 negative 4 equals 13 negative 4. What we've done is we've added or inserted this negative 4 on both sides of the equation. Now we can simplify that line and we would end up with t and plus 4 and negative 4 cancel themselves out. So I'd end up with just t equals 13 subtract 4 which is 9. So therefore t equals 9. Okay, let's look at how that differs with subtraction. So at the moment, this variable, the y, is connected to a negative 29. So, same rule again. How do we get rid of this 29? Well, we see it's a negative 29 right now, so we'd have to add a positive 29 to that side to get rid of it. But remember, if we're going to put a positive 29 on that side, we also need to put a plus 29 on this side too to make sure our equation stays equivalent and balanced. So my next line would read 14 plus 29 equals y minus 29 plus 29. Now I can begin to solve and again notice I've inserted this plus 29 on both sides. Now I can just simply solve and 14 plus 29 is 43 equals y because the minus 29 and the plus 29 cancel each other out. So 43 equals y and therefore y equals 43. Okay, let's step it up a little bit and look at a multiplication one. And we can see this is multiplication even though there is no multiplication sign. When our variable is next to a number, we automatically know that it's multiplication. So here's our variable, the k, and it's connected to this 6 or multiply by 6. So the same rule applies. How are we going to get rid of this multiply by 6? Well, we're going to use the inverse. What's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So what I would have to do is divide this side by 6 and also make sure to keep it balanced, I'll divide that side by 6 as well. Now I can begin to solve. Well, a times 6 and a divide by 6 cancel themselves out. So I'm left with just k equals 30 divided by 6 is 5. So in this one, k equals 5. Last one, I've got a division question, but it's exactly the same principle. At the moment, my variable is connected to this divide by 4. What's the inverse of division? That's right, multiplication. So I must multiply this side by 4. And if I'm going to multiply this side, I need to multiply this side by 4. So I'm left with 11 multiplied by 4 equals t and then the divide by 4 and the multiply by 4 cancel themselves out so I'm left with t on its own therefore 11 times 4 is 44 equals t or t equals 44 and there you go let's look at things to remember first we need to isolate the variable by adding in or inserting the inverse operation we need to make sure the equation is balanced by making sure that we put whatever we're doing to one side on both sides of the equation and then we can simply solve to find the missing variable. And there you go. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video with someone you think might struggle with this as well and need a little bit of help. But for now, peace out. See you in another video.